I am Steve. This is Fran. Today we're going to talk about wall ovens. Wall ovens are a point of contention. It seems like it becomes harder when you buy, when you think of a wall oven as half a range. You don't get the burners, you just get the oven that's in a wall. Uh, but it tends to be complicated, so we're here to uncomplicate it to some degree. All right, so let's get going. Right right let's start right off the bat. Let's go with GE Cafe. And we're going to talk about like more series here, not a specific model, but just more series. A lot of these come in singles and doubles and different variations. So let's kick it off with Cafe. Well, when you're talking about cafe, you're probably talking about the French door wall oven. Mm -hmm. I like French doors. French doors are, you see them in restaurants when they don't have a lot of space between the working area. So it's half a range, you're inside the range. Um, I, I like, I, I think there's um, there's some value to that depending on how you cook and whether you have an island next to it. Um, I, I like that. I like the fact that you have different colors, you have yeah. white, black, and you've got six different handle styles. They're adding more colors. Yeah, so they have kind of the matte black, the matte white right now. They have the different handle options as well. So really kind of even within just those two, in stainless steel, of course, but really within those two, like there's so many different configurations you can have with all the different handles as well. Controls are great. Seven inch LCD controls, um, really easy to use. I definitely like the French door as well. Just kind of pretty unique out there. Few options like that, but not a ton. Yeah, there's a few options. What do you think? I'd go with an A. Okay. I'll I like the French door. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to go kind of to the highest end of the category. We're going to go with Gaggenau. What are your thoughts there? If you really like to cook, uh, there's, I, I don't think there's anything better. I mean, you can vary the, where the heat comes from very precisely. It's one degree imp mm -hmm. uh, increments, 17 different modes uh, of cooking. I use a steam oven to reheat my, my food, my lunches here. Uh, it's just amazing the amount of control you get with this product. And yeah. it's kind of unique, you know, with the metallic and everything on beautiful, beautiful product. Yeah. If you like that modern kind of minimalist style, I don't think the controls are as intuitive. It's more designed for the person that actually cooks in a certain style. Yeah. Um, but if you love to cook and you know what each separate mode does, whether it's pastry or certain types of roasting. And this is the only oven that can do all that for you. Yeah, best oven as far as kind of cooking, really bar none, the best oven as far as cooking within that degree, like you said, really kind of the most control that you're really gonna get with any yeah. brand that's out there, controlling certain sections of the top and bottom, mm -hmm. uh, broil and bake, cool design, different design. You get the side swing oven too, yep. which is a unique uh, feature there. So really easy to access, especially if you're doing heavy pots, casseroles, things like that. Really, you know, one of the best ovens out there. I mean, what do you think? Well, the only thing is, the only downside to it is it's not as intuitive as say some of the other mm -hmm. ones we're gonna be uh, covering in this video. But other than that though, even, you know, the little minimalist tells you when it's done with the line thing. Um, I, I like this unit, it's either an S or an A. Yeah. Let's go S. S, because we never do? Yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, so now let's kick it off with a different brand, different price points for sure here. Let's go Profile. Yeah, Gagano's $10,000. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if you want to consider it an S for features and maybe a B for pricing, but uh, Profile's another good unit. I mean, yeah. um, there's, there's two types of people. There's the people that are just getting rid of their wall oven, and then there's the people that are redoing their kitchen. I think Profile does a nice job of giving you Decent appliances, good features, good value. Yeah. Um, you know, with refrigeration, dishwashers, you can complete a package really good. I mean, in terms of the uh, wall oven, features are good. With single convection. Yeah, correct. Single convection in both ovens or single convection in one oven. Um, I like it. It's it's nothing fantastic. It, it's just a good solid right. oven and a good solid line. And for those people that are buying from a... Uh, from a store that doesn't have service, which you probably will be, G has their own service Definitely. as well. So, yeah, good, good value, no question about that. Good controls too. It's kind of sleek, so it doesn't kind of throw everything in your face like some of the other brands. So, it really, is a nice looking wall oven, especially yeah. for the price too. Really similar controls, even kind of comparing to the cafe, where you have that nice yep. color LCD screen. I do like that. Uh, Wi-Fi, kind of smart enabled, yeah, smart even uh, the temperature probe, really cool there. So, really good, solid wall oven. What do you think? B? Solid B. Yeah, for sure. Maybe for value, you give it an A. Okay. So next, you know, really a competitor here of the profile too. Let's go with that uh, KitchenAid. Yeah, we sold KitchenAid for years here. Um, and I, I think 
10 years ago, I, I thought this may have been the best wall yeah. we sold before everybody else kind of caught up. Very simple controls, big, big oven. Um, convection, you know, it's got the convection conversion mm -hmm. I like, but uh, not a lot of the better controls of say a profile. Um, still good, big, uh, good name. Um, if you're redoing your kitchen, I don't think the refrigeration is as competitive as say a profile, but in terms of it, it's fine. Yeah. Right. yeah it's, and uh, kind of the opposite of, you know, aesthetically of the, that profile where everything is right there. A lot of controls. So if it's not, I would say it's probably maybe not the most easier to use, but not maybe the most aesthetically pleasing because everything is kind of right there in your face too. Really an outdated, um, I'd say, design and just... Yeah, they were doing it. They were yeah. doing it next year. Yeah. Needs a little bit of an upgrade. If Good like solid it. oven, but solid I'd say it needs an upgrade. Yep. I, I, yeah, B. B. Yep. Yeah. Next, let's go with LG Studio. I really like this brand, mm -hmm. um, and I really like the pricing on the it's brand. Unbelievable! Yeah. Uh, was it twenty eight ninety nine? Yeah, for Black convection. Friday, twenty eight ninety nine price point for for two ovens. Yep, twin convection controls work. Even the steam works. Um, um, we sent a bunch of people down to uh, to LG to, mm -hmm. to test their steam, and that even works, yep. which is not a uh, not a given with many brands. Um, I think as long as the service holds up, holds up, they do make most of their components. So everyone says, you know, I'm a big shill for LG, but the truth of the matter, it's reliable and we have to service yep. this stuff and that's why I like it. Um, you know, if they make their components and it's as reliable as anything else, as, as the rest of the stuff, especially their washers and dishwashers, this is a, an oven you should consider, Absolutely. especially at that price. Yeah, two-year warranty, which at that price point, you don't really see a lot. True guided controls, which you get really in the highest end of the ovens too, where you yep. want to put a pot roast in there. It's going to tell you exactly where to put it in the oven, how to cook it, all those things. The steam works, doesn't need to be plumbed with the steam, which is nice too. So it's kind of just that built-in reservoir that you fill there. Really a great, a great wall oven. Yeah, I don't think, you know, one of the things we're going to be talking about steam and another thing, you know, a lot of people make a big deal about plum versus I, I have a steam oven at home and I have to fill the reservoir and it's, mm -hmm. it, it's fine. It's, it's no big deal. Um, I mean, the most I've done is 20 minutes seems to be, it seems to work fine mm -hmm. there. Um, but I really like this. This yeah. is a, this works. This is an S or an A, I would say an A for yeah. value. Anyway, value in S, uh, features an A, I'd, I'd give it an A. Absolutely an A. All right. Next, let's talk about Mila. Um, this is a this is a wall one I really like. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about Gagano, um, you have more functions with the Gagano, but Milo makes it easy. If you want to bake bread, it's just if they give you 17 different modes of bread, you you hit the button. Um, this is one of the only ones, or probably the only one that has steam assist. So what happens yeah. is um, you can add up to three bursts of steam, or you could do the Master Chef and it'll figure it out for you. What what steam does is it it hardens crusts, good for baking bread. Yeah. Harding tops to say lasagna. Um, and Milo makes it really easy. You know, they've got the twin convection system. I like the style, very minimalist German styling. Um, family owned, operated, family owned uh, German company. I think they're making stuff in the United States in the next few years, but um, I, I really like this wall. Yeah, really solid company in general. The Master Chef. And Really, in some of these brands too, like the, the premiums, there's a lot of different variations of their wall ovens. The Master Chef would kind of be more in their top of the line series, but great controls. The touchscreen works phenomenally, really guides you through everything. Mm -hmm. um, the wireless temperature probe. So instead of kind of having a corded probe on there, I like that. Easy to clean oven as well, kind of uh, the racks are even dishwasher yeah, safe. Right. So kind of really dishwasher. super easy to clean there. Has a rotisserie, which is not really in a lot of them, believe it or not, don't kind of mm -hmm. give you the option for a rotisserie if you want to do a chicken or something like that there. So really, really a great overall product. Yeah, you, know, you talk about the wireless, uh, what people should be buying. Uh, check this out, the meter, look that one up. $99, it'll tell you, it, it'll give you the, um, it'll give you the temperature even at yeah. it's sitting as it's cooking. It'll tell you when uh, approximately to get, uh, exactly to get it out. Yeah. But, um, I'd say this is an S or an A, probably an A. Yeah, high A for sure. A. Okay. All right, next let's talk Thermador. Um, two different styles, um, single mm -hmm. convection, kind yeah. of expensive. You get a free dishwasher, you buy a cooktop. Um, great name, great company, great after service support. I don't see anything special as far as actual um, features for the price yeah. per se. 
Um, you know, a good, this is a good, good brand if you're a builder. It's a good brand if you're a homeowner and because they're good with after service. But if you're really into cooking and features and everything else, I think you can do a little better. Yeah, definitely a really popular name and brand for sure. Yeah. Um, definitely, you know, more of a, a package there as well. But as far as kind of overall control features, oven features, like you said, with the single convection, definitely some better competition that's out there. Another brand that has a ton of different variations. You know, they have the Deluxe Series, their Standard Series. Yeah. So some better features like the rotisserie that you get in the Deluxe, which is kind of nice. You have the ability the on certain models. Yeah, the, the big doors. steam ovens and the yep. combinations. And you have a lot of definitely. you have a lot of variety, just not a lot of features. Yeah, strictly looking at just double ovens. Yeah, I'd say um, could definitely use an upgrade of some features there. For yeah, sure. we're in a thermal kitchen. Yep. We've got the swing door, fold down yep. door steam over convection steam over single oven single oven underneath um you get a lot of different combinations um but just not a lot of features yeah. what do you think probably go with a high b a low a b. b i think b but listen you know let's go high b all right all right and finally we're going to talk to talk about wolf here well, the only negative of Wolf is you can't get them within what, what what's the lead time? Nine so they're months? getting, I'd say they're getting better in the wall ovens for sure. They're pretty, pretty, pretty much almost back to normal on the wall ovens. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wall ovens are pretty good. Well, in terms of, in terms of who the company is, family owned, American made, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we like selling that type of stuff here. Um, but I love the, uh, the, the Wolf Gourmet, yeah, right. um, you know, you get time, temperature, you, you you figure out what you want, how you you put the food in, how you want to cook, the weight. Yep. It gives you uh, time, temperature, and it's the only one that gives you rack position. It's got the blower style convection. Um, blowers deliver more air than fans. Um, I, I really like everything about it, other than for the past few years, it's been hard getting it. Yeah, great oven. Um, like I said, the blower system is a little different, kind of where everything's kind of more kind of space to the side and gives you a little bit of a deeper oven there as well. The yep. Master Chef or the not Master Chef, but the M series Wolf Gourmet controls. It's like in the in the in the wall ovens, yeah, you can definitely the trend is everything's gone to these kind of higher end guided cooking or at least trying to get there. And Wolf has really kind of led the way with their wall ovens a little bit there too. And they've done a great yeah. job. Wolf meal are the best for those. Jan yeah. Ayers, um we're not talking about Jan Ayers. Jan Ayers is pretty good with yeah. theirs too. Yep. What do you think? Hi A. High A or S? So let's yeah. say we'll give it an A. Okay. Sounds High good. A though. I'd buy one of those. Yep. All right. I think that's it for wall ovens. That's it for wall ovens. Um, if you like the format, um, click and subscribe and be first notified. And thank you for watching. Thank you.